you're in the zone, the superhero zone. Q intro. Hello, and welcome to Superheroes 101. My name is Xavier, and I'll be your host. And welcome to the third episode of the Loki Mischief and Mayhem series. Basically, in this series, I predict and theorize about future MCU events that can come from things that happen in the Loki series. I do this every week. I have two episodes before this, so you should go check them out. And before we get into the video, you should like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a video to this very channel. And also, you should follow my Instagram at xavier.lee101 and my TikTok at xavier.lee6 for any awesome, cool content that you want to see from me over there, so you should go check it out. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I'm going to be doing this episode a little bit differently. I'm going to be doing my top picks for the most interesting parts that happened in this episode versus breaking down the entire episode, mainly because the new episode of Loki comes out today and I have to review that. And also, it's just a whole lot easier for me to do. And also, before we get into the video officially, spoilers ahead. If you haven't see, seen it, you should watch out for spoilers. Spoilers ahead. This is your final warning. Coming in at number five, we have Renslayer's Mysterious Analyst. An analyst is a person that works at the TVA who goes to figure out what variant committed a crime in another part of time. So, yeah. Renslayer mentions while Mobius is in her office about the other analyst she has working for her. Now, I think it's Kang the Conqueror. Now, Kang the Conqueror is a villain from the future who rules the future with an iron fist. He's a tyrant, and he comes back to the past to try to rule it so he can rule the whole time stream. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's Kang, and it could be him because Renslayer in the comics is... Kang's love interest and also Kang the Conqueror is meant to make an appearance in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and why not give him a little cameo appearance in this show if Loki is basically leading us in the direction of the future of the MCU like with Multiverse of Madness with the whole sacred timeline thing and the timekeepers so yeah we should keep this Kang the Conqueror reference in mind because it may come up later in this video. Coming in at number four, we have Loki's working powers, at least when he's not in the TVA. Now, in this episode, Loki and the Minutemen went to 2050 to a store called Rockscart, owned by Roxxon, an evil company in Marvel Comics. And yeah, so he goes in the Rockscart, he's soaking wet, he dries himself with magic. And that is very interesting to note because in the TVA, his powers don't work, but out in the field, his powers do work, which means he could have escaped all along and the Minutemen wouldn't have been able to catch him because, you know, he's the god of mischief and mayhem, essentially. So he could have used that power and escaped, kind of like he did at the end of the episode, but he didn't use his power. He kind of escaped through a time portal. And honestly, the TVA might try to capture him or him and Lady Loki might team up to get something else from the TVA because currently all the Minutemen are occupied trying to fix a sacred timeline that broke. Next up on the list at number three we have Lady Loki's powers. Lady Loki's powers kind of work like Scarlet Witch's powers with the whole possessing aspect. Now in this episode we saw a couple times Lady Loki touching people and enchanting their bodies and gaining their physical strength and abilities and Wanda can do the same thing but she doesn't need physical touch and she doesn't talk to them. She just mind controls them to do what she wants. Because remember, in WandaVision, Agatha Harkness said that she has no need for incantation, meaning words. So, yeah. She can just think and it happens. Where Lady Loki has to do more of the he heavy work. And honestly, with this power level, we knew that Lady Loki would have different powers. But... They are very similar to Scarlet Witch, the Nexus level being of Marvel. And honestly, I think Lady Loki might be a strong contender for another Nexus level being in the MCU. Coming up at number two, we have the potential creation of the multiverse. Now, at the end of this Loki episode, Lady Loki released time bombs all over the sacred timeline, creating branch timelines, and the multiverse essentially might be created, or it was just a plan to get everybody out of the TVA, which is coming up in the last lot. But, yeah. So, 
the multiverse might have been created and the TVA might not be able to fix it, thus calling, causing a multiverse of madness, which we'll see m later on in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. And we might see these same characters there. And I'm so excited for that movie. Then lastly, at the very most interesting slot, at number one, we have the TVA being left unguarded. So when Lady Loki released all the time bombs on the sacred timeline, creating the multiverse, all of the Minutemen were escorted out. They had to go fix it and reset the timelines. During this time, Lady Loki and our Loki can go into the TVA and go find the timekeepers because Lady Loki knows what the timekeepers are thanks to C20 giving her the information because Lady Loki tortured her to get it or read her mind. And yeah, I think in this next episode, we're going to see Lady Loki and Loki try to figure out how to get to these timekeepers. And I think that's a very, very interesting. I'm so excited for this next episode because it this is only the second episode and I know there's much more to come. And yeah, this was the third episode of Loki Mischief and Mayhem, the series that I'm doing on my channel and my breakdown of the most top five most interesting things that happened in this episode of Loki. I really want to do more of these because this was fun. And yeah, leave down in the comments what you thought about this very episode and leave down your theories and ideas and also leave down what you're hoping for for episode three. By the time I'm posting this, episode three will be out. No spoilers in the comment section. I repeat, no spoilers for the comment section. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video to this very channel. And make sure you follow my Instagram at xavier.lee101 and my TikTok at xavier.lee6 for any awesome, cool, fun content that you would like to see from me. And you should check it out. And if you like this video, make sure you leave it down in the comments down below because I want to know... And yeah, if you want more content from me, if you want more content from me, you're going to have to wait till my next upload. Goodbye, you guys.